Hey guys, welcome back to another video and another podcast. This is the top five takeaways from rest. Okay, um, this book is crazy. Let's get right into it. Starting off with number one, getting more from rest by getting better at it. People didn't know you could get good at rest. Well, it's true. Okay, one thing I've found in my own life is it takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to go to sleep. Sometimes it takes three, depending on how tired I am. Well, if I can put myself in a better mindset, clear my mind faster, maybe just kind of let the process flow, I'm going to get better. I'm going to go to sleep faster, sleep better, and um, it's just better all the way around. Number two, when is your circadian peak time? Okay, in the book, it talks about circadian rhythm. It's a cycle of how your body works in um, energy levels. And um, normally, it peaks from at 8 a.m., kind of comes down at 12, and then comes back up at 8 p.m. Um, you know, figure out, like, especially, you know, people after lunch, that's why they take, uh, they sometimes, if they can, take a nap after lunch because that's when their circadian rhythm is kind of diving down. And it's just... Uh, it, it's works so much better that power nap is what can refuel you for the rest of the day and you become more productive it's a very powerful thing to do so if you can do it do it I've been incorporating it in my life so um, you should too if you can number three sleep is a necessity military um, they're doing studies in the military that you know they're trying they're depriving them of 48 72 hours of sleep without sleep and that's just messing up their um, their senses, They're having trouble discerning, you know, who's the enemy, who's not, trying to make decisions, falling asleep at at the um, at post and at, at their guard positions, and they're figuring out it's no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. So um, that I didn't know, and that's very interesting because it's it's you can't have one with the other or the other. It's both of them work together, work and sleep. Okay, they're two things, and they, they're a necessity, both of them, for survival, period. Number four, the morning are your most creative slash productive hours of the day. Facts, man. When I'm up early and getting stuff done, like I get stuff done, and I get it done faster and better every time. That's when your circadian rhythm is at its peak, uh, your mind's clear. A lot, if you're up early, there's nobody up. It's clean. It's just the energy is just pure and clean and, and quiet, and you can get so much done. So remember that if you can work something into your morning, like on a Saturday. Like I was up at 1 a.m. this morning, actually, and uh, because I couldn't sleep, I, I got up and I felt good. So I've been up the whole time. And um, so if you can, like, go to bed early, or if you're going to bed late on a Friday, Get up early and then take a nap like at 10, 11 o'clock maybe. Work three or four hours on your on your life's work, whatever you may be doing. Trying to set goals for your next week, your future. And um, get that done. Okay? So number five, productivity is so powerful. And um, the, this whole concept is uh, all about productivity, the rest thing is when it comes down to it, it's about productivity, getting things done, being more accomplished. And um, that's one thing I'm doing in my business is being more productive. So productivity, guys, focus on productivity. That is the number one thing you should be thinking about right now, okay? Because it's going to make you more money. It's going to free you up more time for your family. And it's going to just make everything so much better. So um, that's it. That's my five top takeaways in under five minutes thank you guys so much for tuning in please like and subscribe let me know in the comments below and if you're on podcast please subscribe and um, share with your friends and thank you so much see you next week